Hello guys, today we will talk about icons on the site. Not a huge topic and still very important. We will start from the history and we'll see how developers worked when there was no icon fonts. Next we will do a quick overview of the Fontella service and we'll try to understand when it's better to use the whole icon set and when the icon font generator. 10 years ago, if you have to add the icon on the site, you will first search such image in the Google. And if Lucky is not on your site this day, you have to open Photoshop or Illustrator and create it by yourself. And this is not an easy thing, by the way, to do. But let's say you have one. You uploaded it on your site, include in the HTML as an image or maybe as a background, and you think, I'm done. But no, the story has just begun. After some time, you need exactly the same icon, but bigger. Can you just change site for it, like so? Obviously no, because it will be blurred. So you will go again to the Photoshop, create a new icon, name it as icon big PNG, upload it to your site, include in HTML, ready. <laughs> but after some time, you will need the same icon, but in the red color. I think you got the idea, this will never finish. And it is even not the only issue. The other problem is that users use different scale in their browsers. For example, I use 110 percentages by default, and that means that all icons on the site created with images will be blurred. Very bad looking thing that kills any design. Later on, some smart people came to the idea, why not to use font where instead of letters we will have icons. <laughs> that is genius. Why? Because now we can do with the icons everything what we can do with text. We can increase its size, change color, add effects or add animations. One of the first icon font was Glyph icons. Bootstrap library includes it as a default one. And as Bootstrap became popular, more and more developers have started using icon fonts instead of the images. Today we have a lot of icon fonts. One of the best set is Font Awesome. It's very easy to use. Download archive, include CSS files in your code and you're good to go. But in case if you want to have more options, go to the fontella.com service. It allows you to choose from the variety of different sets. Just pick icons you want to use and click download button. It will create an archive with CSS and font files. Include it as usual on your site and this is it, so easy. If you need to add new icon to your site, just drag and drop configuration file to the site, like so. Select new icons or unselect icons you don't want to use anymore, download new archive and update files on your site. Now let's think about what are pros and cons of using the whole icon set or generator. Fonts are usually pretty heavy. For example, Font Awesome contains about 600 icons. The font size of it is 65 kilobytes. But usually you don't need all 600 icons on your site. That means that user will download unused code. In case of font generator, when you pick only icons you will use, your bundle will be much smaller. If you have 20 icons on the site, Fontella will create a font that will weigh only 6 kilobytes. Your mobile visitors will feel the difference. So one point to the generator. Other cool thing about generator is that you can use icons from different sets simultaneously and still have a very small bundle. But don't get too excited, please, because inconsistency in the icons will not make your design better. On the other hand, adding or deleting new icons on the site in case of using generator takes more time. So if you are in development process or you are doing prototypes, it's always better to use the whole icon set. But on live projects, Fontella is your best friend. But can we go even further? If you will look closer on the configuration file that provides Fontella, you realize that all information about your icons is already there. 
Fontella's service has API on what you can send config file and get back all required files. That means that you can exclude all fonts and CSS files from the virtual control system and leave only configuration file. So your commits where you are uploading icons will be smaller. But if you will do it, you create dependency from the other service. And if it will be down while you are doing a release, you may have troubles. This is all what I wanted to show you today. Hope you find something new for you. Bye-bye.